Hi, and thanks for watching. So I wanted to provide you with this video in order to share some information about hair loss and iron levels. As you may notice, my hair is pretty thin. Uh, you can actually see right through it here. Um, so I experienced hair loss about 20 years ago, and I wish that I could have been told this information um, as my hair loss continued due to my ferritin being on average about 10 as low as three. So this continued essentially for two decades. Um, so I really hope that this video helps you. So I'm currently working to regrow my hair, uh, which is working. It's actually getting thicker at the roots since I've been taking iron supplementation. Um, so if you're interested in my hair loss journey um, and how I'm raising my ferritin, please subscribe to my channel and I'll be uploading new videos soon. So this is what I've discovered in my research. If you have low ferritin and you have hair loss, your ferritin needs to be at least 60 in order to stop the hair loss, and it needs to be 80 in order for hair to regrow. So, and, and not more than 100 actually, but I'll get to that. So the clinical reference range, which is the range that's uh, printed out on your lab results when you get those back, um, it's not correct. So the range for the lab that I use is between five and 272, but it is not correct. So it only takes into account how much iron your body needs in order to go about its core functions. So it does not, um, it's, it's not the optimal level for your hair and your nails, and therefore you will experience hair loss if, you're, if your ferritin is any lower than 60. So ferritin is actually stored in each hair follicle and what happens is if your body does not have enough ferritin, your body will actually take it back from your hair and it causes the growth cycle of the hair to be shortened. So you'll notice that when you wash your hair, when you comb your hair, shake it out, you'll notice that many small hairs will actually be shed and you will also see, if you feel the ends of the hair, you'll notice that the bulb is still attached to it. So this is something that I had for years and I, I did not, uh, was not, not able to correlate uh, this to iron levels. So you'll notice that if it's the shortened growth cycle, you'll have a little bit of a bulb on the end of your hair and that'll tell you that it's likely ferritin. So this is where my doctor failed me. So I did notice that my hair had gotten thicker after about three months on iron supplementation. Uh, so my ferritin at that time was 35, but my doctor then said that, okay, you're in the clinical range, you can stop your supplementation. However, since I'm a woman and since I'm vegetarian, uh, my iron soon plummeted as soon as I discontinued the supplementation and my hair fell out again. So at that time, I did not make the connection between the hair loss and the low ferritin, and my doctor had attributed the hair loss to uh, something else. So I also want to say that I'm not a medical professional, so please take this information as what I have learned in my own research and not as medical advice. Please do not begin any form of iron supplementation without first having a blood test, as having too much iron is toxic and actually can be fatal. So um, along that note, actually, you do not want your ferritin levels to be higher than 100. Uh, although the clinical range, as I mentioned, is 5 to 272. This has actually been recently proven incorrect, uh, but I'll save that for another video. Um, but at this time, I will say that high levels of ferritin are directly correlated with morbidity and aging, neither of which are obviously desirable. <laughs> so in summary, if your ferritin is 6 or 10 or even 25 or 30, uh, you will not be in a position for optimal hair growth and you will want your ferritin to be about 80 to 100, uh, but not more. And so please get your ferritin tested and see if this helps you. And please subscribe if you want to, to know more. I'm going to be getting my blood tested uh, in a couple of weeks and hopefully my ferritin will be up. So thank you very much.